What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Mid-Level Media channel, your hub for everything physical media and entertainment. And today I've got a couple of very exciting releases to show you guys. Some premium 4K box sets courtesy of the Film Vault. These are the Film Vault range box sets of 2001 A Space Odyssey and Apollo 13. So both of these are due out on October the 2nd. They are UK um, only, so you will have to import these. But I got these last year from the film vaults. I got, uh, I got them up there, so I'm looking. Blade Runner, Goodfellas, Scarface in 1917. Got all four of them last year um, to do unboxings. But this year, I just got these two. I think they sold out of the Jaws one very quickly. And uh, Shawshank Redemption, they did not send me as well. So I will be doing an unboxing, though, of these two really cool sets. I love, 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 love the artwork on the 2001 uh, Space Odyssey one. But yeah, let's go to the table, unbox these things. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button and uh, yeah, let's do it. All right, so we are over here at the unboxing table. We are starting with vault number seven. Like I said, I did not get the Jaws or Shawshank Redemption. That was five and six. So we are going to start with seven, 2001, A Space Odyssey. So these are for sure, guys, just to kind of let you guys know, because I'm sure I'm going to get the comments. Who would buy this? Who would want this? I don't need all this extra crap. I just want the movie. This is not for you. If you just want the movie, you can get it for very cheap off of Amazon right now. Just the 4K of 2001, just the 4K of Apollo 13. And you're not going to spend very much. If you are into these kind of like big collector's edition premium box sets, if you like going the extra mile by adding value to your collection with these, you know, big, fat, exclusive, bougie box sets, then this is for you. If you like all the extras, the cards, the booklets, the posters, the plaques that this includes right here, um, then yeah, you might want to get this set. It, it's super nice though, super nice. These things, like the film vault goes all out. They really go all out and there's really nothing like them that I've ever seen. So yeah, these are for sure, premium box sets, you know, they're going to cost you about 65 bucks, and then with shipping, probably $75 to $80 with tax. So it's not cheap, but if you're into collecting this kind of stuff, you may like it. But you just cannot beat this artwork. Of all the new ones that were released, I like Jaws a lot too, but I think this one is probably my favorite. I just love all the colors right there. And I need to rewatch 2001 because it's been a long time since I've seen it. And uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll show you the back right there. I'm just kind of flipping it around right here, guys. Uh, you can read what's in here right up there at the top. We'll kind of go down. And you got all the features. This is the same disc, guys, the same 4K disc that Warner Brothers put out. Uh, you get the same special features, same transfer. There's nothing extra about the transfer. You got Dolby Vision, audio, all that stuff. I'm pretty sure that the original 4K had Dolby Vision. I could be wrong. Maybe they did add Dolby Vision here. I'm not 100%. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and take this out of the slip cover. Look at this big plastic slip cover right here. Have you ever seen a slip cover this big, guys? And uh, then we got the box. Super nice. The artwork just looks even better when you take that off. And it wraps all the way around. Oh my goodness, that's so, so freaking cool. I remember this. I, I don't know. This feels nicer than the ones I got last year. Um, maybe it's just this and the colors just look so good. And then on the back, look at that. Iconic image from the film. Kind of zoom in right there. I know this was, I don't think this was the original poster. Maybe it was, but this is definitely one of the uh, posters, I think, back in the 60s when they put this movie out. I'm just, look, I didn't love this movie the last time I watched it, but I am like super fascinated and impressed um, by just how this movie got made. Like the kind of movie it is and what it goes for. It's extremely ambitious and I just can't believe a movie like this got made in the 60s. It's incredible to me. Um, the mission is too important for me to allow you to jeopardize it, says Hal 9000. Hal 9000 is my favorite character by far of this uh, of this movie. Um, and all right, we'll get this thing out. This is what's holding all the, all the extra goodies. Maximum restricted entry. I don't know if we want to get in here. It's got all kinds of quotes from Hal, though, on there. So that's cool. All right, go ahead and take all this stuff out. Make sure I got everything. And this is the poster. I mean, the artwork's incredible. Shout out to the artist, because I cannot remember who the artist was off the top of my head. 
Um, but they did an incredible job here. Absolutely incredible job with the artwork here. So, fantastic. And yeah, if I can remember the artist, I'll, I'll put it in text. And then you got the original poster. You got another a poster right here. So, cool stuff. Two posters. And then you got the cards. Nice. Great stuff. I do want to revisit this movie sooner rather than later. Um, especially on my new TV because the last time I watched it, I think I watched this like four or five years ago. Um, it was on my older 4K TV and obviously my TV's better now. Got the OLED. I'm sure it's going to look even more impressive on that. Alright, go ahead and put all that stuff. I guess I can put it back in here. Just trying to give you all the full tour so you know what you're getting yourself into if you want to you're thinking about purchasing these and I will link them both down below in the description. They should both still be available to buy. So I'll try to find y'all a couple of spots to get them the best price and everything that I can find. So I'll put that over to the side and uh, good thing you got these things in here to slip out this plaque. Very cool. 2001 A Space Odyssey and right there it's numbered. 50, 36 out of 6,000. Can you all see that? I'm trying to let the focus. Not focus and bore me. 50, 36 out of 6,000. So only 6,000 of these were made, so it's very limited. But, uh, yeah, this, I mean, there's weight to this. It's not, it's not hollow. It's, uh, there's weights, there's quality, and um, I love it. It's awesome. And again, I know what some of y'all are saying. I don't need all this crap, can I just need the disc? Well, then click off the video if you're not interested. For God's sake. All right. Let me take uh, take this out. This is what's holding the disc. So it's like a little mini slip cover, 2001 Space Odyssey. I love how it just looks just like Hal, which is awesome. And on the back, Hal 9000. Um, go ahead and take it out. Yeah, th this is nice, guys. I love it. Flip this open. Flip that open. And there you go. And since it's 4K, you know, you can play, uh, this looks like it's region B, but you can play the 4K on any 4K player. And the Blu-ray disc with the special features, you know, you're probably going to have to have a region free player, but maybe you can play it on your regular Blu-ray player. Not 100%. 100 you know, I know sometimes even though it's region B, it'll still play. Um, but just be prepared to maybe have a region free player if you want to play those special features. But the 4K, you're not going to have to worry about. Uh, my instructor was... Mr. Langley, and he taught me to sing a song. If you'd like to hear it, I can sing it for you. It's called Daisy. So how not, hell nine, hell 9,000. Sorry, guys. Tripping over my words. But I love the artwork here. Just 2001 on the disc. And uh, I'll pop the disc out so you can see behind it. But Oh, you got the astronauts. That's very cool. Yeah, this is uh, it's freaking nice, guys. Very nice. And, uh, sorry, I think I shook the camera there. Put the disc back in the holder. Close this baby up. Put it back in the slip. And I, I think that's it, guys. So we got the, the posters and the cards and the plaque. And, of course, the movie itself in this nice big box set edition. Very cool. Very cool. This is the collector's collector set. You know, real collector set for real collectors is what I like to call this. Not that you're not a real collector if you don't get them. I'm just saying, you know, you know what I mean. You guys know what I mean. 2001 A Space Odyssey, incredible, just incredible. Now let's move on to, this is honestly one of my favorite movies of all time. I, I love this movie. I grew up with this movie. It's definitely one of my favorite movies of the 90s. Incredible cast, Apollo 13, directed by the great Ron Howard. Uh, but look at that cast. If you haven't seen Apollo 13, it's, definitely, it's based on the true story of Apollo 13. And you know, that mission, the failed mission uh, to the moon, and they had to get him back home. And it's just an incredible film. Tom Hanks, Kevin Bacon, Bill Paxson, Gary Sinise, Ed Harris, terrific cast. And uh, this is another one that I haven't seen in such a long time, and I would love to revisit it. And I didn't have this movie on 4K, so this is a bonus because this will be a 4K uh, for the first time in my collection. So I'm happy to have this. But show you the back right there. Show you everything that's included here. Bam, and this is number eight in the film vault line. Right down there, you got the special features and all that stuff. Adobe Audio. 
Good stuff. See, I'm not seeing where this has Dolby Vision. So, here you go. And right here, we got some incredible artwork on the inside. You got some equations, rotes down the side as well. Just awesome stuff, guys. I love this movie, though. This is definitely one of Tom Hanks' best films. For sure. All right. I forget how I'm opening this, what side I'm opening this. I don't want to manhandle it and open it in the wrong way. All right. So, yeah, it's like a magnetic case situation right here. If you ever collected the Vinegar Syndrome VSU editions, it's kind of the same kind of deal. The magnet case on the side. So we'll open that up. Of course, the iconic quote, Houston, we have a problem from Jim Level. And uh, let's take this out. Apollo 13 flight plan. Very cool how they kind of theme this, you know, to Apollo 13. And both of these are space movies as well. I don't know if you guys noticed that. You probably did before I did. I'm just now realizing it because I'm an idiot. Got another quote right here. God damn it, I don't want another estimate. I want the procedures now. Awesome. Love it. All right. Uh, ooh, we got more stuff in here. Feels like more stuff than the 2001. All right, Apollo 13, the classic poster with Tom Hanks. Great poster. And that's the new poster, newly commissioned artwork poster. Very cool. And, uh, yeah, I think the this one just has more cards and stuff. It doesn't have two posters. But uh, this has an Apollo 13 card, John F. Kennedy Space Center, which I've actually been to the Kennedy Space Center. It's very cool. I think I went there when I was, like, 13. All right, so very cool. The National Aeronautics and Space Administration cordially welcomes you to the launch of Apollo 13. Awesome. I wonder if this is actually what the cards look like if you were in attendance at the launch of Apollo 13. That would be cool. All right. So we got uh, some character cards. We got Tom Hanks, J James A. Lovell. We got Fred W. House Jr., uh, Lunar Module pil Pilots, of course, played by the great Bill Paxton, who is incredible in this movie. And we got Kevin Bacon right here. John Leonard Jack Swigert Jr. Very awesome. Ed Harris, Gene Kranz, uh, NASA Johnson Space Center Flight Director. Elsie D.R. Thomas, Ken Mattingly II, played by the legendary Gary Sinise. Lieutenant Dan, you know, him and Tom Hanks teamed up again the year after Forrest Gump to make this movie. Command Module Pilot. Gary Sinise is the guy, though, that didn't get to go to space. He had to stay on the ground. I do remember that. All right, Paul 13, some more cards. Is there anything on the back of these? Oh, yes, there is, there is some stuff on the back of these. Is it all the same? Or is there different stuff? You just got some information about the film on the back. So, let me see if that's the same on all these. No, that's, it's different. Different stuff on the back of all these. I wonder if these are real images. No, they are not. Because that's Tom Hanks. <laughs> All right. But they have some fun facts about the movie and the actual events and all that good stuff. All right, so we'll go ahead and take out the plaque. The awesome plaque. This is 3256 of... 3,500. They didn't make as many of these as they did 2001. Interesting. I guess they don't see this movie as important um, as 2001. I mean, I get it. I feel like in the 90s when Apollo 13 came out, it was definitely more important than 2001. But as of right now, I feel like 2001 is definitely more culturally significant, especially in the film community. So I get it. Apollo 13, yeah, 3257. Very cool. And uh, you got the little space... Space evacuation pod right there, which is awesome. All right, Master Alarm, Apollo 13. You got everybody's name on the back. Go ahead and take that out. Yeah, these sets are awesome, guys. Can't hype them up enough. Again, four collectors. And you got the, the characters, Kevin Bacon, Tom Hanks on the discs, which is very cool. Got everybody else behind them. And, uh, yeah, I don't need to remove it because that just makes the image. The discs make the image. And uh, flip it over. You got Tom Hanks' family right there. Boom, 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 boom. 
Spectacular set, guys. I am so happy to have these in my collection. Um, the Film Vault range, guys. Doesn't get any better than this. Um, if you want these, I'll link them down below. They are spectacular. They are great quality. And uh, I definitely recommend them. So thank you all so much for watching this video um, of my unboxings of the Film Vault range sets. I appreciate it. Let me put this back in here. Definitely like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I would appreciate that. I've got all kinds of videos coming out on this channel every single day. Things are heating up in the world of physical media. Got all kinds of stuff coming to talk about, but I appreciate you guys watching. And uh, definitely comment your thoughts on these sets down below in the comments section. Follow me at all my links in the description, and we'll see you next time.